New tonight at 6, CMPD cracking down on a dangerous trend that is putting all of us at risk. New numbers show wrong way crashes have skyrocketed over the past several years. In fact, 2017 had the most recorded wrong way driving crashes, injuries and deaths in the past 17 years. That is according to the North Carolina Department of Transportation. NBC Charlotte's Rachel Lumberg looking into this deadly issue. She joins us now with the very latest. Normally you're looking out for drivers behind you when you use your rear view mirror and your side mirrors on each side. You expect to see headlights there. When you look forward and you see them coming directly at you, that's a terrifying moment that happens far more often than you might think. Caught on camera, a car in the wrong direction in Uptown this week. Video moments after CMPD pulls the driver over, sitting in the left lane of oncoming traffic. We try to educate them as we stop them. This issue can have a catastrophic ending. Last month, a wrong way driver smashed into a car carrying South Carolina lawmaker Katie Arrington. You have two vehicles running 70 miles per hour to 80 miles per hour, depending on the speeds that hit, and that becomes 140 to 160 mile per hour crash, which is devastating. The wrong way driver died at the scene. Arrington, who was in critical condition, just tweeted this photo in a boot and a cast back on the campaign trail. Before these people realize it, that driver's up on them very quickly. NC DOT just sent NBC. BC Charlotte updated stats showing 2017 recorded the most wrong way driving crashes, injuries and fatalities in the last 17 years. Last year there were nearly 50 accidents with dozens of fatalities. Unfortunately young drivers are the highest fatality risk in the state and also across the U.S. About a quarter of all wrong way driving fatalities from 2000 to 2017 were in October and December. More than half occurring on the weekend between midnight and 5 a.m. and alcohol related. I'm Rachel Lundberg, NBC Charlotte.